first B-52 takeoff was uh, pretty wild. You're just, I don't think anybody is quite ready for the noise that it's gonna make on takeoff when you push up all eight engines and it just shudders and rumbles and you feel like the wings are probably gonna fall off or just something's gonna fall off the plane. You're just rehearsing everything in your head as you're going through the takeoff, so try not to miss anything. But it's such a cool experience and you can really feel how much power this thing has. So an average day in training, um, it, it really kind of depends on the day. Uh, if we're planning a, a flight, uh, we'll have the day prior, we'll do mission planning where we're going through uh, building comm cards, building general routes of flight, uh, figuring out who we're gonna be refueling with, what, uh, what kind of activities we wanna do in the area for like simulated bomb drops. Before we even get to the aircraft, we uh, will do an initial inspection of our equipment and just make sure that our, our helmets are working, making sure that the comm cords are the ones that we need depending on the aircraft, making sure that our oxygen hoses aren't uh, having any issues and that we're actually getting good flow uh, to our masks. So that way, when we, by the time we get to the jet and we hook everything up and we give it a test in the actual aircraft, we know that, hey, everything's good to go and we're ready to fly. Uh, and then going to Caddo, uh, it does look unfavorable for pod work. Again, very similar conditions to what we have here. So you're going to have broken cloud deck uh, down low, bases at 1500, tops at 4000. Uh, I think the most important thing that comes down to it in the B-52 is just the crew and uh, making sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody's working together as a team and, and that starts on the ground. That doesn't even start with just our air crew. Uh, all the maintainers and everybody that goes into it to get us in the air uh, have to be effective and have to help us out. So it's a whole uh, holistic team perspective. There's nothing quite like getting through a successful drop when everything just goes completely as it needs to and everybody's just completely jiving together. The V-52 community is great. I'm excited to see more of it and meet more people and uh, just continue to do the mission and see where it takes me. But the schoolhouse is a phenomenal training experience and uh, they do so much for us here and make sure that we're on our A game and that they produce the best aviators possible when they send us to our ops squadrons.